trees have preceded humans by millions of years as dwellers of the planet, and maybe that is why they have been revered since ancient times. Their mighty image with their branches reaching for the sky and their roots anchored to Mother Earth has inspired legends in every great civilization. Their beauty has fed the collective imagination of many cultures and has inspired artists who have left messages on their trunks so as to seal a bond between them and mankind which has turned them into totems of people's tradition. In El Bierzo, carved trees are part of a route of 16 wooden sculptures which commemorate the life, traditions and history of the generations of settlers who have inhabited this land. These carvings speak about the greatness of this region. Some of them are connected to the local flora and fauna. In Borenes, next to the town hall, an elm tree presides over the main square displaying two animal depictions. Not far from there, in San Juan de Paluetas, an eagle carved on a chestnut tree holds a prey with its claws under the watchful eye of the moon. Storks, icons of the Iberian Peninsula and of El Bierzo, are the main motif of the carving called Wedding Dance at the entrance of the village of Colombrianos. In Voces, the carving, like cat and dog, depicts the eternal enmity of these two animals. A dog watches carefully a cat which is portrayed in the upper section. In Bega de Balcarce, a monkey carved on a chestnut tree looks defiantly at the observer. The beauty of the forests of El Brierzo has always attracted the settling of peoples and the building of castles such as Conatel. At the feet of this fortress, some burnt tree trunks symbolize a criticism of forest fires. The castle, which has been declared a cultural asset of our heritage, was in the custody of the Knights Templars, who guarded its access not so far from there in Prieranza del Brierzo. These lands had long before been occupied by the Romans, who in their search for the coveted gold, transformed the surroundings, turning the medulas into a natural monument. In Orejan, a warrior brandishing a sword reminds us that they were once there. Agriculture and cattle farming have been part of the lives of the people of El Bierzo for many centuries. In the Eras neighborhood, in Paramo del Sil, there is a tribute to herdsmen, in Colombrianos to peasant women, and in San Pedro de Castañero, one to chestnut gatherers. The wood from the trees, which was once used to erect the scaffoldings inside the mines, now bears carvings like the one in Santa Cruz del Sil, which pays tribute to mining, hunting and sport. The water running through El Bierzo in countless rivers, such as the Sil, is a source of wealth and progress. A sculpture on an elm tree in Villa de Palos indicates that its peoples were and still are fishermen. But El Bierzo is also a land of tradition. In Ocero, a carving signals the celebration of the Santa Ana festival. And in Ponferrada's pilgrim hostel, a column reminds us that the way of St. James crosses these lands from east to west.
The Jacobean Way has been twinning El Bietzo with cultures from all over the world for centuries. In Molina Seca's pilgrim hostel, a living tree displays the final sculpture of the route, a carved cannon which links the way to the 88 Temple Pilgrimage Trail in Shikoku, Japan. In the deep heart of a forest, each tree has its magical, legendary, hidden story to tell. It only narrates it to whom understands that the life of a majestic creature belonging to the children of the Sun People is pulsing within its wood. <laughs> 